Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. And to continue on our series of how to develop a Visual Studio Team Services extension and how to configure a continuous delivery uh, pipeline with continuous integration, here is the part four, which is how to use VSS manifest file, which is the JSON file describes the metadata about your extension, like the version, the source file, the logo, and different different files. You will find at the end of the video uh, the link which give you the all the reference for this file and with all attributes and how you can include that, uh, like the different the values for each attribute and example about each attribute. So, for example. If you want to put a screenshot for your um, your your extension, if you want to put the logo, if you want to put the file, you know different uh, um, capabilities based on some attributes in in this JSON file. So let's see that. So the VSCS manifest file. This is where we we defined the the source of the extension the images the icons the version you know all the the metadata about our extension there is a link on the vsts your first extension to all information you needed to know about about the memphis file and let me explain to you uh, what i did in my case so <clears throat> as you can see in my case what i put it here first I put it, um, you know, this is the name of my extension, which is DevOps POC or proof of concept. And here I put the version. And here the name again. Here is the ID of the extension. And here is the name of the extension. And here an explanation of the extension. The publisher, as we agree, I will use the QA publisher ID. Uh, and then we start using the logo, which is the MVP logo, and the contribution here, uh, just using um, where I want to put it uh, on the hub, which hub, and this is on the work hub, and here is the landing page for my extension. Here, I just listing the files I want to include. So this is the landing page, this is the scripting folder, and of course, this is a reference for the SDK. And here is this is the CSS file. Here's the, the all the, the images uh, and resources I want to include. So once I have that, then I finish uh, the manifest file. So just the version, the name of the, the your extension, and the sources of your extension, which is the images. The, the, the scripts and all of that once you have that then you are ready to package i would like to thank you for watching the video and please if you have any question don't hesitate to contact me uh, here is my blog thank you